everybody. Welcome to Gallagher Guitars, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Let's go see what Mr. David Mathis of Gallagher Guitars is up to today. Oh! Hey, <laughs> I couldn't hey, see Jeremy. you through the glare. How are you? I know you. Hey, man. Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you, too. Oh, the first is... time you showed up at the door, it's like, ah, who is this guy exactly? I know. Yeah. Yeah, but glad to have you here. Yeah, and now we get to see each other once a month, which yeah. is great. Nice. Cool. Well, this is a super cool space. You've probably seen this. This is Gallagher Unplugged. And there's a bunch of shows coming up here. And uh, we've lots got some of cool shows coming up. We're finally, I mean, COVID is getting to the place where people are glad to get out and hear some music. And JP Cormier is coming yes. here. Yes. April 16th, I think. Yeah. That's cool. I'm excited about I'm that. I'm reworking my schedule to be here. Oh, now. great. I, I okay. love JP. I'd love to see him yeah. play here. So cool. Well, what else you got going on? Anything exciting? There's always something exciting. It's true. <laughs> But just this morning, actually, uh, I um, purchased a uh, an old Gallagher. I mean, oh, one cool. one of the very early ones. And uh, her husband had passed away, and she's had it for years, and thought it was time to let go of it and let somebody else enjoy it. Man. So, let me let That's, me pull it out. Okay. So, yes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. So this is a oh, G70. Man. I'm sorry, a G50. And uh, JW's first guitar was a G50, mahogany guitar, and he named it the G50 because he was turning 50. Yeah, there yeah, you go. There you go. This is, it's really interesting. I don't think I've seen one quite this old. Well, uh, the man who taught my first chords to me, he had a 67, Okay. a G50. So it brings back, you know, memories of that. So similar, the wood, this mahogany wood. Man, that's that's a beautiful, really straight mahogany. And interesting, uh, I actually don't recall seeing this, but it's a wood backstrip. Okay. Yeah, like a, I guess in Gibson language, that'd be a skunk stripe. Okay. And then rosewood bridge, and they did rose yeah. on the G50. They do a rosewood fretboard. This That's is a big really those dots are. yes, yeah, vintage look. That's really a, a dark rosewood, and then um, the head cap is a little different because it looks a little taller because it is. It's longer than uh, what our head caps are. And is the headstock angle shallower than what you're doing now? It looks a little, doesn't it? Like it's really straight. This yeah, way. it does. We, uh, we have the shoulders that have a little sharper angle to them. Okay. But it'd be interesting to measure that and see what, how it compares. Oh, and these tuners, let's see. Oh, patent I'm gonna, numbers. I'm gonna have to put uh, my glasses on, I'll have them. But yeah, those are old patent numbers. Yeah. Oh yeah, we can clean those up. Yeah, those uh, are the, cool. The loop, very Whoa. different, it doesn't have, you know, the, and there's been different shapes to the balute over years. We have uh, what people would think of kind of the Martin balute now is what we do. Yeah. Um, but and that seems, because he was a furniture builder, so that seems more like a sculpted thing. Mm. It sounds great. And those strings. And I can tell be. by looking at these strings, they're really yeah, old. They must be. It's got some spring to it. <laughs> New strings, this thing's gonna sound fantastic. Seriously. This label started in 1965. His first one was uh, basically a typed up label. Um, and then they went to this and did this for several years. And the really interesting thing about this label, I don't know if you're able to catch it or not, but he had a line on there that says, guaranteed perfect. That's awesome. <laughs> That's how committed he was to building a really good yeah, uh, guitar. I love that. So that, that's a pretty bold statement, guaranteed perfect. Wow. This thing's gonna sing. I know, let's restring it.
What? Did this need anything else besides? Yes. We're just going to put some strings on it. He wants to hear it. Oh, like I need some fretwork and stuff? Oh, yeah. Super mid rangey. It almost sounds like hard stop. It does ring. Man, it sounds really good. As far as it's really Yeah, pronounced. let me hear you play so I can hear it better too. That's the coolest part, is seeing that the new guitars still have this kind of feel. And, uh, and this is every bit as good as any other finished guitar. Actually, it's probably better, because this is like genuinely a boutique guitar right. built in 65. 66. Oh, 66. Yeah. Voice. I, love it. I know it's it's cool. I love the skunk stripe on the back. This is I told, told you this that, before. Yes, that's my least favorite place for a strap. Yes. It's more reminiscent to me J45. Where the mid range is strong. Yeah. It's really interesting to me too, seeing how someone played this. So they played it. So if you would scoot your hand up, yeah. It's so much more mellow. Which makes me wonder, was that their style? Or did they play that way because the guitar was... Gotcha. So what are you gonna do with this? Thing? Are you gonna? Are yeah, you gonna I'll keep list it, it online. Uh, you know, we've got to clean it up. Uh, I'd like to keep it, but no. yeah, um, I think someone would really appreciate having opportunity to.
have this guitar. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to clean it up. I think definitely, even though that is vintage plastic pins that they used. Yeah. Uh, I think I'd, I'd like to hear it with bone pins. I think so too. I think yeah, new new nut, new saddle, or sorry, new nut, new pins. Yeah, just a general just a setup. Just a little bit of TLC. Then, uh -huh. I think also this thing because it sat for presumably. I mean, the strings that we changed were so old. Yeah. So it must have sat for a while, and I bet it's probably kind of tight sounding just right now because of that. And if somebody would sit with this and play with it, it'll open up again. The sustain's pretty crazy, though. Yeah, it sounds great. And we're also in a giant room mm -hmm. that makes it sound great. But cool. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess that's where we'll finish this video, you camera folks. So uh, we're going to list this. I'll, I'll post about this. It'll be for sale for Gallagher. And uh, it's a really cool part of history. It's cool to see how much of this DNA is still in the new ones that are coming out. Yeah. So, cool. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.